Hey Easy Agent Pros, welcome to this episode of EAP TV. I'm Tyler and today we're gonna break down five tips for Google Analytics. So you may be out there thinking like, I want leads, I, I don't really want to look at numbers and dashboards and traffic on my website, that's the furthest thing from leads I can think about. And uh, as you can see on my computer right now, it's it, it does get a bit gnarly. So I'm just gonna break down five quick little tips that you know even if you're just getting started, you can use to get more leads with this free tool. So Google Analytics is a free tool. It's something you install on your website um, or your lead site and you can then get more leads and traffic and stuff with it. But for most people that's not the case because they don't use it correctly. So here are my five tips for getting more leads with Google Analytics. Tip number one, your top pages. If you look at my lead sites dashboard right here, um, it breaks down my top pages with traffic. Now here's what you need to understand. You need to be constantly duplicating your top pages. So for example, Auburn Homes for Sale, 70 hits. That means I need to go find another community that I can easily rank on Google for with my Instafarm page. So this page right here, if I click on it, it actually is an Instafarm page that is showing on Google that then gets hits from the, the web, right? People on Google. So I go to my apps, I can go create another Instafarm page for another community, just fill in those blanks um, and, and start getting traffic that way. Maybe you aren't someone getting success with Google. Then what you can do, and if you don't have a lead site, you just, um, you go here to behavior, uh, you go to overview, and um, you can see the full report of all your pages here. And what you can do here, um, if you, you can then see, okay, here's Auburn Homes for sale. Um, so I can look at that and I can say, okay, what can I do to get more traffic like I have on this page? And you can pick another community. Um, for some of you, that, that page might be a landing page and you might be driving ads there with Facebook. So you can say, okay, well that's working. What else can I do? I can make a landing page that's similar to that. Maybe you have the top 10 homes in Auburn as a landing page. Um, and then you're running traffic to it from Facebook, you can then pick another community, run traffic to that one. So that's my first tip. Install this just so you can see where all your leads, where everything's coming from, so that you can duplicate that, right? That's tip number one. So you can either on your lead sites dashboard, that's like right on the homepage, or you go to Google Analytics, and you go to behavior, and then you go to overview, and then you go to um, view the full report to see it. Okay, tip number one. Tip number two, the sidestep formula. So let's say you are writing a blog for Bob's Bakery and you're like, Bob's Bakery just opened up, blah, 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 blah. And you get like, Bob shares it on his Facebook page and you, you, sh you get like 10 leads from that because it got shared and then the news picked it up and, and you know, it just, it worked, right? but you're wondering where did those leads come from? What you can do next, it's called the sidestep formula. I go to my behavior and then I go to um, all pages and what I want to figure out is, um, so I'm just gonna pick a random one because that, that was a hypothetical example. You want to figure out what the flow through was. So I picked a, a blog and I'm seeing, okay, they came from the homepage to the blog to this blog. They went from the homepage to the blog to testimonials. And you can start to see the flow through. So let's say you write Bob's thing and then all most of the traffic goes to um, this landing page you set up for that community, right? So they went to the blog and then they click the link in the blog or they click the button that you put in the blog to your landing page. What this lets you see is that, oh, that's the landing page that these guys came from because they went from the blog that was shared, Bob's Bakery blog, to my landing page. So you can start to get insights into why people are becoming leads, thus helping you build more. So next time you write a blog, you wanna to link to that same landing page, or you wanna write, you know, instead of Bob's Bakery, you wanna write about another thing in that same community and link to the same landing page so you can create that all over again. So that's tip number two. Tip number three, 
Uh, and this comes from, from a very successful client of ours. It's called the Seller Hook PDF. Uh, we all, there's seller listings in, and you're trying to win them. And what you can do to get the leg up is you can come in here and on your dashboard, uh, you can screenshot this or you can print it out as a PDF and you can include this in your seller dashboard. You know, you want to blur out the names, the emails, the phone numbers, but you can say, uh, Mr. Seller, I'm going to feature you on this website in this way. And you can see all these leads are coming to me. And so I can get your house sold faster. I'm going to know what people are visiting your website from or, or your page on my site from so then I can duplicate that and sell the house faster. And it's just a really great tool to then go out there and, and include as one PowerPoint presentation of your PD of your of your seller's guide. So that's that's tip number three. If you don't have a lead site, um, what you can do is you can go to um, the opening page here and just sort of print out. This is how many hits my website's getting, um, and show them the chart like this. And you can break down so you can you can make them look smart and explain like I've got a 17% bounce rate. That is that is ridiculous. Um, speaking of bounce rates, there's a lot of stuff floating the web right now about them. If you're running a blog oriented site, you should see somewhere of a 90 to a 95% bounce rate. If you're running like just landing pages, it should be lower. And if you're running houses, then it should be a, a bit lower, but it is, it is pretty high. The only reason ours is 17% here is because it's a demo site. So all this data is just a little dumb. Um, so going on to tip number four, uh, this is a great tip. So, uh, Every time you get a lead, what you need to be doing is texting them a link to your calendar. Um, if you have a lead site, that's texty. If you have a regular website, uh, you can go to somewhere like Zapier, uh, where you can set up um, when I get a lead in Google, send them a text uh, that way. So either do it with your lead site or do it with Zapier. I think I have. I have TTTs also another one of those automation. They might do it too. Not sure. I haven't tried it with them yet. Anyway, what you need to be doing is sending them a link to your calendar. Um, so in, in this, this, I haven't mentioned Google yet, so I'll get this back to Google, but you can send them a link to your Calendly and say, Hey, Mr. Seller, or Hey, Mr. Buyer, or Hey, someone that just contacted me, I'll get in touch with you soon. But if there's a time that works for you, uh, click here and schedule. And so it's just the link to your calendar. Uh, and what you can do is you can actually, here's the one. So this one is, is on lead sites now. Um, it basically, it's just a squeeze page uh, on your lead site and they can book a time with you. So you send them, you text them this link, but instead of just texting them that link, you go to this thing called the campaign URL builder. And what you're going to do is you're going to say, uh, referral and then text. And you're going to convert that to a short link, copy it and put it in here. Schedule with me here. Now what happens is when someone clicks that you can actually, because we, we tagged it up as a referral traffic and a text message, you can actually track the traffic going to your website from that text by going to acquisition overview, referral, and then you'll see a text message column down here, right? So what you've done is you've taken someone instantly from, Hey, I'm on your website. 40% of them are on their phone, filled out this form. I want to talk to you. Oh, look, Tyler just texted me. I clicked the link. Oh, look, I'm on the page right now that lets me schedule. I want to talk Monday morning. Here's my information. And because you're the smart realtor that you are, you've tagged it with the campaign builder. You've actually gone referral text and you can go then to your Google analytics and say, Hey, look this month, because of my text, I got a hundred people to this page, right? And then that convert it into 60 demos that convert it into 70 demos. And then that data can help you change that, that calendar booking page to do it better. So that's a great tip right there. If you don't have a lead site, if you have a lead site, whatever, um, just go out there. Every time you get a lead, make sure you instantly text them a link to a calendar that lets them schedule with you. And when you're a pro and when you got it, you go to this thing called campaign URL builder. If you don't know how to get to it, just campaign URL builder. Um, and it shows up right there. Number one, uh, and you put your website, you put your landing page in here. So you just copy it, paste it, referral text, uh, convert to short link, 
copy it and you're good to go. So that's what you do there. All right, tip number five, this one I'm going to link to another video of ours, it's in depth, but it's A-B testing of landing pages. You need to be doing it. Uh, click the link on the screen now or the link in the video below. It's a great in depth guide for how to split test your landing pages with Google Analytics. Check it out now. I'm Tyler with Easy Agent Pro. Thanks for checking out this Tips with Ty. This is five tricks for Google Analytics. I uh, hope you found one or, one or two of those useful. Go implement them now. If those weren't useful, click the link below to go to the A-B testing one. That's a really in-depth advanced guide. Um, it's probably a 15, 20 minute video, so just, you know, crack open a, a bottle of water, sit down, get ready to do it. Uh, hope you like these videos. If you do thumb them up, um, we do put some time and energies into these. So if you'd like the video, drop that like right now. Um, and I'll see you in the next Tips with Ty. Thanks.